Mass Modeling with the Morph Tool Creating Site Geometry We'll use the 3D window for defining a basic site geometry using the Morph Tool. Click the Navigator icon at the top right corner of the floor plan to display the Navigator. This lists all available stories, sections, elevations, details, schedules, etc. of the current project. Any of these items can be displayed right away. Open Generic Perspective in the Navigator Project Map. Activate the Morph Tool. Choose Box Geometry Method from the Info Box. Click the Origin for the first corner and start moving the opposite corner of the base rectangle. Type 40,000. The value will appear in the tracker as Dimension 1. When finished, press the Down key. Type 28,000 for Dimension 2 and press Enter to finish the input. Move the cursor upwards and set the height of the morph by typing D1000. Creating a base geometry. Let's create the base of our massing. We'll use a simple cube and form it according to our needs. Click the Morph tool in the info box to open its settings. Activate the surface override by clicking the surface button on the model panel. Choose Paint, Titanium White, and click OK to close the Settings dialog. For precise positioning, we can use Snap Guides. Move the cursor over the bottom left corner of the site morph, where a blue circle appears indicating the corner. Drag the cursor to the upper right corner, a diagonal Snap Guide line appears, and type X and 14,000, and Y and 9,000. Create a box geometry of 10,000 slash 10,000 slash 10,000 by using tracker inputs as for the site. Copying an existing edge. It's always possible to divide existing faces into smaller ones by creating new edges. We can draw new ones or simply copy an existing one. With the Morph tool being active, hold down the Control plus Shift keys and select Morph. Click the vertical edge. The pet palette appears. Choose the Offset Edge command. The editing plan appears on one of the faces. To be able to move the selected edge along the left face, change the editing plane. Right-click to enable the context menu and choose Editing Plane slash Pick Plane. Pick the left face. To create a copy of the edge, press the Alt or Control key, a plus sign will appear, and move the edge into the middle of the face. Move the cursor along the top edge. The cursor will snap to the midpoint. Click to create the new edge. Offsetting faces of the morph. Start forming the cube by simple extrusion commands as the fastest way of sketching in 3D. Hold down the Control plus Shift keys and click the smaller face on the left closer to you. Use the push-pull command of the pet palette and push it by 1200. Create a new edge again by Control plus Shift clicking the upper edge and use the Alt key and pet palette commands as before. Change the editing plane to vertical if necessary. Move the new edge by 3400. Push the new upper face by 1200. Press Escape to deselect the morph when finished. Creating another morph. It's always possible to create additional extensions to the existing geometry and then merge them so we can work with them more easily. We'd like to create a curved extension to our building mass. Activate the Morph tool and choose Polygonal Geometry Method. Draw a new edge along the existing bottom edge, starting from the corner on the right to the midpoint. 
Choose Arc by three points from the pet palette and click the corner you started from. After the click, you can curve the edge drawn. Type 2200 to define the radius and press Enter. Select the newly created morph face with Ctrl plus Shift plus click. Hit Tab to toggle between the Sight Morph and the curved face. Click the face itself and use Push-Pull to extrude it upwards by 6000. Select both elements. First you may need to deselect all and then select one of the elements. Finally, use Shift to add the other element to the selection. Right-click to enable the context menu and choose Boolean Operations slash Union. This way the two morphs will be handled as a single element from now on.